One of the biggest problems for me and basically the whole movie industry was always to put real people into animated environments. But why? Because you first need to have a large screen screen set and then have to set up all the lights accordingly for every shot. And then you also have to compose everything together so that the colors and contrasts are matching with the scene. And all this can be very challenging. And what if you also then have changing light situations or different light colors that are coming together? Well, now it's easy, kind of. So how does it work? It's a new software called Switchlight Studio and it's currently a closed beta, but if you want, you can get already access to it by applying for the beta on their Discord server. And they also have a website you can already use, but this is only for photos. And the new desktop application is also for videos. And with that, you can convert complete videos with your own hardware. Basically what it does, it cuts out the people from the background and then creates albedo, normal, roughness and specular maps for them, which you then can reuse in your 2D software. And it's really simple, you first just have to select if you want to convert in video or image sequence and then choose your video, this one and then the output direction. And then you can just click on the render. And it converted 47 frames in 4K in about 2 minutes on the RTX 4090. On the info button you can see how long it normally takes. When it's finished then you will find these folders in the output directory. First is the albedo map, then the BG removal and the foreground folder, which is basically the same and just the cutout person, and then the normal map, the roughness map and the specular map. Back to Switchlight, you also have the ability now to launch a renderer to preview the converted images. So just click on it. And here you can preview your images. If you want, you can even put your own HDRI here and render the final result out. But we will now proceed with Blender. The cool thing is, you can use these maps like any other PBR maps. So just connect the albedo to the base color and set it as an image sequence, then the specular to specular, roughness to roughness and normal to normal. And also keep in mind that you have to set the color space for the specular, roughness and normal map to none color. So now we basically just have a plane with image sequences and the 2D software handles it like any other 2D object. And this is so cool, for example if I rotate it a bit, then as you can see also the shadows are moving. And it also interacts with every other light point in the scene. So for example I have here one and I can just move it and it works fine. So I can even change the color and it is influenced correctly by it. And what's also very great that you don't necessarily need a green screen for it. The software automatically detects all persons and things that are in the foreground and cuts them out. So you have to be a bit careful because like in this case it also partly cut the micro out but I didn't want it and so I had to reframe it first. As you can see, it's still not perfect and your background shouldn't be too complicated. But yeah, it's already quite usable, I would say, for many cases. It also still looks a bit unnatural and the temporal consistency isn't perfect yet. But this is the first beta version and for that it's already not so bad. And for the consistency, you could also counteract with a flicker filter like in DaVinci Resolve for example to improve it a bit. But I spoke with the founder and he said that they will implement a flicker filter soon. Yeah, so what do you think? I guess it's pretty nice and I'm very impressed by it. It gives us new possibilities as filmmakers and makes our lives so much easier. So what's your opinion about it? If you want then just leave a comment below or a thumbs up and then I see you next time.